Hello, everybody. Do you hear me? Uh, I'm going to ask my team today on this uh, webinar from Applitop and ZWV Soft. Uh, to go... Thanks, everybody, to attend this webinar. Antonio, can you confirm you hear my voice? Yes, yes. I can hear you very well. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so thank you to be in this webinar with us. Uh, this is a webinar that will introduce uh, our application for surveying and civil engineering. Uh, today with me, uh, we are glad to have the participation of Claire Hay, which will introduce you a nice uh, CAD, uh, which is ZV, ZWV CAD. And I'm going to start uh, quickly by a quick introduction of Applitop. Please remember that this webinar is recorded and uh, you will find it into our uh, web page, respective web page or social network. And also, uh, you have a, a, a part that uh, you can write all your questions that we will try if we have time to reply to you quickly uh, at the end. To introduce you quickly, Applitop. Uh, Applitop is a Spanish company based in the south and we are software developers for civil and civil engineering. Uh, we have a, a, a great expansion internationally with uh, over 15,000 users license and we work only and exclusively through uh, previously selected distributors. Our success is uh, mainly because we provide uh, software really easy to use at competitive price and our software is on the same philosophy of ZVSoft, uh, uh, permanent and uh, really uh, high quality. One of the mm, uh, major points of the success of Applitop is a high quality uh, after sales service uh, we offer to our distributor in order to give you a quick reply about your need or your doubt in the using of our application. Uh, we highly invite you to discover our uh, video channel uh, in YouTube Applitop, where you can find a lot of uh, tutorial about our application, which are also uh, which have also different subtitles in different languages. We offer basic to advanced um, and presential to online training. Some uh, agreements need to specify that we have again uh, fully successful uh, get the new uh, ISO 9, 9001 agreements. We offer client survey to our distributor and final clients to check that uh, uh, if the, our solution still match your necessity or needs. Some uh, relevant projects, Applitop works so much for public or private research uh, projects and some of these projects are quite uh, interesting to have a check. You can find it into our web page. Some uh, university and association with, uh, we work with, uh, I need to make a special uh, uh, introduction to Land XML or Build It Smart because Applitop is really involved into the promotion on the BIM format uh, where we have been pioneer in this area. Let's talk a little bit about our software, what they are able to do. Uh, our application are able to make projects like an urbanization, road, manage queries for volumes. We have solutions for mine and tunnels or manage power line and pipeline that we will have a quick overview today. The most important thing is you have to know that Applitop works so much uh, on Android, on Apple, S3, Intel and Microsoft. If you go to our banner in our web page, as you can see, you see that uh, we go faster and smoother with ZVCAD 2021. Okay? Sorry for the inconvenience. So we have also different brands agreements with uh, CHC or uh, Spectra, ultimately uh, with uh, Spectra or Soka, or, um, we are really multi-brands agreement where they, are, they let us the last instrument in order we can implement their format in order to have a quick uh, uh, interaction with their instrument into our software. Applitop is four families software. Today we will see uh, the families of surveying projects, 
uh, which is uh, the most uh, known uh, internationally. We have also really relevant project in the tunnel area. We have a solution for the field in order to provide a full complete solution from field to the office because that works so much on Windows and Android and solution for photogrammetry which is uh, actually uh, really important particularly when we are using a drone solution. What's our, our current research area? Actually, we work uh, in our uh, own engine of point clouds with a new solutions uh, really soon available for the market uh, point clouds editor, augment reality, drone and beam for infrastructure. Some national reference, so we work with the biggest contractor of Spain that works internationally like SASIR or Acciona. Really high relevant projects uh, uh, in internationally like the Alpha Investment which is, which is a lot of a uh, line of underground uh, build, uh, um, uh, also outside with different line uh, of rail and this kind of things uh, underground of New York or the big highway which will cross from the north to the south uh, the, the road project will cross all uh, America so we have road in Panama, a road in uh, uh, Colombia, tunnels in Peru, and road also to all the east part of USA and up to Canada. And this is a quick introduction of uh, Applitop, and now I will let my uh, colleague Claire A. Eh? Claire, can you switch on your microphone? Yeah, David, I can hear you. And okay. it's my time. I make yeah, I hear you. I have make you presenters. Sure. Do you remember the small uh, triangle? Yeah, can everybody see my screen? Yeah, so you can go. Sure. Uh, thank you, David. And thank you everyone for being here. Uh, this is Claire from DWSoft and today I will be on a tour to DWSoft and DWCAD. DWSoft is an international company with its headquarters based in Guangzhou. That's where I am giving the presentation now. Um, besides, it has seven branches at home and abroad. I am the DWCAD product consultant in DWSoft. I am working with over 800 colleagues and over 260 partners all over the world to provide you an affordable and stable product. Our products are released in over 90 countries all over the world and chosen by over 900,000 users all over the world covering all fields like civil engineering and serving. Here the, is the product list of DWSoft. Today we will mainly focus on our flagship product DWCAD. A part of DWCAD, we also have DWCAD Mechanical, DW3D, DWSIM Electromagnetic, CAD Pocket and CAD Pro. And let, without further ado, let's dive right into DWCAD. And it's latest version, the Cat 2021 version. It is when you uh, download and try out the Cat, you will have a strong feeling that it is faster than ever. It has a faster drawing opening speed. We've collected sample drawings from our actual users and test it out and find out that over nearly 90% of the sample drawings are open faster in Zebra 2021 than its counterparts and its previous version. Besides it's fast, it also has a smoother basic operation. Um, you can see in the graph, the blue part represents the time consumed in Zebra 2021 when you're running basic commands in it, compared to the red part and yellow part, you can see it, take, it takes far less time in running basic commands. It means it saves you more time to do in your actual designs. Also, uh, we have introduced 
and a more user-friendly uh, installation interface in our 2021 version. You can see here, when you install GWCAT 2021, you can go through all the new features and enhancement in the release node. After installation, you can choose which is the next step to take, to activate it now, to launch it now, or leave it alone and do it later. It's your choice. Also, uh, there are many um, eye-catching and practical new features in 2021 version. The first one is it has a better 4K display. It means that 4K resolution screen works well with DeepCat 2021. It, they don't need to compromise with each other anymore. So um, I think you, you should give it a try. Second one is transparency. You can set the transparency of objects and layers in Diva 2021. It makes it possible for you to see the overlapped objects because you have set it transparent. All-in-one reference manager. Uh, in 2021, you can well manage all the external references in one collective panel. That is reference manager. It allows you to attach, detach, and reassociate uh, the parts in this panel. Viewport layer. It allows you to adjust layer properties differently in different viewports. Formula has also been introduced in 2021 version. It works in tables and fields. It helps you to realize a quicker calculation in DeliverCAD. So since DeliverCAD 2021 is a super fast, practical and efficient software, so why not give it a shot? We have uh, offered a 20% off a discount from now to Christmas. If you are interested in it, you can go to our official website and test it out. Any question you have during this time, just feel free to contact us. Actually, buying DWCAD doesn't mean you, the only thing you can get is DWCAD itself. Also, we will provide some valuable tools to meet your need. We have a mature API team to um, create and develop practical tools to ease your job. The most importantly is they are all free of charge. And I will introduce two of them for you. The first one is NLAT. It is short for Network License Analysis Tool. Um, it works for network license user. They can use this tool to well manage their network license nodes. They can see how many of them are, are remained, how many of them are borrowed, how many of them are floating, etc. These tools can be applied in not only DWCAD, but also in DWCAD Mechanical, DWCAD 3D, and CAD Pro. The second one is IFC Import. This is a tool that allows you to import IFC files correctly and display it correctly in DWCAD interface. Apart from correct display, you can see a clear spe special structure and detailed IFC information in IFC structural panel and the properties panel. Besides the add-ons uh, developed by our team, also we work with many developers from uh, other countries to provide our users excellent plugins. One of them is Appliptop, and they are dedicated to provide uh, serving and civil engineering solutions to our users. So uh, next part, I will pass the stage to David. And if you have any questions towards DWCAT and DWSoft, just feel free to type it in the chat 
in the chat box and I will answer it later on. So that's all from my end. David, it's your turn. Okay, thank you very much, Claire. Uh, I'm gonna give now hands to my colleague Antonio. Antonio? Hi, hi, David. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm I'm Antonio Pardo, a survey engineer uh, from the Ablitop team. Uh, now we are going to to show MDD uh, how work uh, using ZWCAT. Uh, it's very easy. It's very easy. So now uh, I'm going to 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 show how manage this application MDD. Okay, and I can say that it's organized by module, uh, Baxili, Baxili uh, standard module to to create any kind of cartography, uh, a small cartography, a small uh, scale or big scale. Uh, using point or big line uh, to get the final surface in, in, in from the natural terrain or modified surface, uh, etc. Or even to use uh, different grids to, to get finally the, the cartography by contour line, etc. Uh, another one module is the professional module where we can use, uh, we can find many tools to 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 follow a uh, different linear project engineering linear project uh, 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 of this kind of, of project uh, to follow li like a road or something like that um, uh, the first one a uh, module of from from image where we can use a image or the image remate a uh, resame the image to, to use in this kind of, of modules. And finally, the, the fourth uh, module is the survey or coordinate system where we can find different tools to use uh, to calculate any operation with different device uh, from classical survey like a theodolite or total station to calculate uh, many 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 operations like a traverses network or even even recession uh, intersection triangulate leveling etc or even we can use this application this module to to convert from different coordinate system uh, to another one, no? or local coordinate system or global coordinate system uh, between both. Okay, so after we know the the application to to use to follow this kind of project, I'm going to to show one how to work with this application uh, using ZWCAT, and I hope to to show how easy. Or who is it is to work with this with our application no? with MDD uh, I'm going to import the one one point one plot of point for example I'm going to import the plot of point and uh, I'm going to 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 shell it or to to choose the different format for for example the last format or the land XML or for example SLE shape Okay, but now I'm going to use a classical format that we can get from the different device or, or GPS, etc. Okay, and I think the more important thing here is to to check to use uh, draw the draw the different block or different kind of outline from the GOT. Okay, so in this in this work in this part, I use uh, one dictionary. Uh, is one database. A block database uh, where we can translate the the code that you use when we make a survey in the in the plot of land or something like that. We use this that uh, base database to to translate it to convert how to design a different block for each point <coughs> or, or each uh, kind of line for each point. Okay, but in this case, I'm going to import the, the one example. In this case, I'm going to show this text file is the, the list of the point from each our survey, where we have the number of the point, the coordinate of the point, and the important thing, the code to representing, to design or to draw uh, the different entity 
for each point, okay? So I'm going to use, I'm going to import the 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 cloud of points. <coughs> how how we can set, how we can view, this is the the import the import of the point cloud where we can find the different representation of this point. No? For example, in, in the point like a point, uh, we can use a different block like this, a pontual representation, or maybe we can use a different a different block using one, two, or even three point with it in this case for the for the galaxy. You no? Know? Uh, we can uh, orientation we can locate the block, we can orientate and scale the the block or even we can a scale in different a scale the set the set scale or that or, or y scale no it's very easy to 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 use this application to representing all the entity uh, automatically we use i said before we use uh, the the code database no in this case we have it's like a translate to translate the code and the representation in different block or different and uh, different kind of line to to draw the different entity in this case we can use <coughs> how i said before and in, in the case of the line we can select different kind of line where we are going to to draw by layer by color thickness etc or if you use one point, we can use one point, two point, or three point to draw this block. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. So after that, when we we finish the the representation of the of this draw, uh, we can edit the our 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 survey. So we can use uh, many many tools like a brick line. We can find many many tools to to edit that brick line to finally get the the final uh, DTM. For example, I'm going to use displace parallel. It's like a it's like a command of the of the uh, in the set cat uh, offset where we can use this command to make a parallel in 3D. For example, I'm going to to take this this curve stone, okay, to make a 3D parallel, okay. I'm going to select the orientation, the separation, for example, 10 centimeter. I'm going to create easier, very easy, uh, to the new top or the head of the curve stone in in only one click, okay. So after that. We can get the survey easier like that. For example, I'm going M MDT, surface, create surface. So I'm going to give a new a new name. Okay, in this window, I'm going to set to the software which element element I am going to use to triangulate the the surface. In this case, I'm going to use every 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 point and some bricks line. So I'm going to tick the bricks line. I'm going to choose the the layer that I'm going to use. I'm deselected some uh, uh, some some layer that is not is not worth it to use to get the 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 surface. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to representing completely every every area. Okay. And here is here is our area in 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 our screen. Okay. Uh, as you can see, this this uh, this representation is in 2D or 3D. We can we can choose. In this case, I choose uh, one representation in 3D. For example, I'm going to show. Okay, if we can sell it in 2D or 3D. For example, we can use a different tools for to control to manage the 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 height. In this case, I'm going to select zero zero to to change the level of this entity. Okay, and I'm going to pass a two entity a 2D or 3D uh, anyway. <clears throat> After that. We can we can we can show different. I'm going to put in the top 
view view top uh, here I can I can make a different option like a uh, quick profiles I'm going to uh, analyze the surface quickly I'm going to set for example like this okay and now uh, we can uh, analyze a, a quick profile from this from this uh, cut in this in this area okay we can select if we can analyze different different information like a code like a height like a slope or like a length from from this from this profile okay it's very easy to analyze that finally i think the the most important thing is to to make a contour to for this uh, survey for example mdd contour get the contour i'm going to use a different intervals in this case a half meter I'm going to to click on OK to get the the different contour line that there are in the in this survey to analyze that it. For example, I'm going to to leveling this contour line. Click on on this command. Sorry, contour leveling. I'm going to use automatically to create to create any level for each contour in this surface with the manage of view <coughs> with the manage of view i can uh, control the the view of this of the representation and uh, we can use this to 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 have a a, a lot of a, a agility to to control of the cartography in this step it's very easy to 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 check for example uh, with the surface a drop surface how work the the surface in the in the in the sorry I Well, okay, it's, it's not it's not necessary to, to do that. So it's very important to use, for example, uh, with the image uh, Im image module, how to import uh, one image from one or two image that we want. We, it's possible that we could be, uh, get from the drone file or the drone fly or something like that, or even use a web map service to. In to import uh, one one image uh, ortho uh, reference have reference image in that uh, in that project. For example, I'm going to use one image. For example, this. I'm going to check how is geo references everything in the same uh, system coordinate uh, uh, global system coordinates. Okay, um, even notice that we we have. Uh, nearly 4,000 points or 4,000 triangles affected. That it means that all the triangles in the <coughs> in the surface are mapped with this uh, with this image. That is very important to 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 maybe in in the future to to do one rendering about or one route by the rain about the about the surface about the the surface okay it's very important later i'm going to show how to do that in, in one example from the from the carrier okay in the same in the same line it's very useful to export all the information for example a uh, google alert i'm going to go to mdd match render export entity google alert in this case uh, I select the coordinate reference system to to coordinate with the Google Earth. Uh, I'm going to select the layers that I'm going to 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 load in in the Google Earth. For example, I have here I have one file where I have selected all the layers that I'm going to use. Okay, or we can use directly the different button in this in this in this window. Okay, and now okay to export to Google Earth. It creates the, the one file KML, KML to export the, the file and automatically 
it demands if possible of if we want to open this file. I'm going to click on yes and here we can check our cartography, final cartography in Google Earth directly. Okay, we can check that it's okay everything and all the contour line, the brick line that we take or we pick up in the survey works. Uh, we can check in Google Earth to show a uh, different uh, or analyze our DTM. Okay. After that, <clears throat> after that, uh, uh, I think it's very important to 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 create, for example, one uh, horizontal line to define the the our one street or one road, and this cartography to work in our civil engineer project. Uh, how how it's possible. MDD, for example, I'm going to draw one axe, for example, alignment, draw alignment. There are many, many tools to, or many options to, to, to get a, a alignment or maybe to get the, the vertical alignment, etc. In this case, I'm going to use directly draw alignment. For example, I'm going to check like this. I'm going to draw the, the follow, the follow state like that. Okay. I'm going to to design the curve like that. Okay, and continue like that. Okay, the con the curve. Okay, e okay, and finish here. Okay, I'm going to give one name to this uh, this uh, horizontal align. I'm going to export and dimension the alignment. Okay. I'm going to give that name. Okay, I'm going to to scale to dimension that alignment uh, to to draw that. Okay, uh, here it. This is our our axe that we can use to get, for example, the different profile or cross section. In this case, I'm going to use a profile to get profile. Okay, only to say that that we can use different tools to get, for example, from several alignments or get from several surfaces at the same time. It's very useful to to reduce our our office hour in 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 our project. Get profile from this from this horizontal align. Okay, in this window we select or we setting up a which a surface we are going to use in this case is the natural terrain that we are uh, make made um, I'm going to to save the the profile in this file in, in one file where we can find uh, for another another steps for example alignment one point long okay only we can uh, setting up any configuration for example uh, all for the sampling in the in the profile okay and now it demands how to draw or where we are going to draw the the profile select the the scale horizontal scale vertical scale and the numerical data there are many numerical data to choose or we can uh, edit that numerical data even we can uh, include the different uh, profile in the same uh, profile Okay, okay, and now I'm going to draw here, for example. And now we can, we have our longitudinal uh, profile. Okay, to analyze or to design the vertical uh, vertical uh, alignment, uh, etc. After that, we can do the same thing to the cross section, for example, the, the, the cross section for this axe or the different or the several alignment at the same time, ADC, we have or we can find many options to, to manage the cross section, etc. But I think uh, the, the best thing now is to pass to the to the professional module where we can define uh, for example one rod. Okay. In this case I'm going to use 
uh, 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 I'm going to use one example that I prepared before is uh, I'm going to shell it uh, I'm going to introduce one term that is a segment and uh, in this segment we can use uh, to use a, a different element to, to define for example one rod in this case the horizontal alignment and the grid line or the vertical alignment that we are going to show how how is is this or maybe the the cross section from the ter natural terrain even the template i think is the more important the more important thing or the more complex thing to introduce in in one uh, civil engineer project for example i'm going to show how to do it uh, i'm going to to use the segment the rod where we include everything or we uh, use like a link for any kind of element to to link to the the rod for example edit the segment i'm going to use one example that i prepared i as you can see there in this segment there are the horizontal alignment as you can see in this window in this part of the window or the profile that we made before okay the cross section that I I made before too okay the grade the grade or the or the vertical alignment in this case I'm going to use the our editor to to check our our vertical alignment I'm going to open is open the the the, the editor of, prof of profile the vertical alignment editor and we can change or we can edit or we can analyze different components and this uh, vertical alignment uh, even to to edit uh, them okay it's very easy i'm going to close the editor to review we can list for example but now I'm going to show how works the template. Okay, only only to say that that we can import template from the different uh, uh, draw, for example, and this draw I have the the template from the project. Okay, I resume or the this this section or this template in one polyline that by MDT we can read this polyline. Easing to the to the road directly, PK from PK, uh, uh, depending on the on the on the project. Okay, in this case, I use this polyline to convert or to uh, create the the template. In this case, I set by the software uh, where is the horizontal alignment, where is any element, for example, the platform, the cars park, the curbstone, or the footpath for each element in in the in the in the template okay okay i'm going to pass i'm going to show what is the final result for example i'm going to edit the template in this case we can show the final result i can select different template along the the road uh, i select the the station for each uh, for one template for each station to change different template along the the road okay in this case uh, i define the road beds with different different template with different layer or even i can design or i can uh, show how 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 great the different ditch or the the slope and cut slope or fill slope or the the ditch the shaving ditch uh, the walls and structure See, we have, for example, here one world, but we can define if, uh, from from where we are going to to use, or we are going to make a, a world or different or different slope and, and along the our project. Okay, if we can move along the this project, there are many solutions or different uh, options. The same thing, we can define the geology or if we need to make a reinforcement reinforcement, or even how to, to connect with the slope by bands. Okay. Okay. 
uh, when we finish the definition of the of the template we assign the template to the axe by station by station okay and in this window we can find different different options to analyze this 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 road directly in only one step for example we can check the different different position of this element okay if we can analyze for example to stake out some 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 element like for example the foot the foot of the roadbed or for example the the ditch or for example the contact with the natural terrain the hell the slope okay and we can analyze or, or check the different surface the cut the cut uh, the cut uh, area or fill area uh, etc okay we can move along the along the 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 road okay in the same in the same window we can draw directly the final result for example draw i'm going to draw the the cross the the cross section with the with this rod okay we can include uh, several terrain if we want okay but i'm going to to use one scale and one format the uh, page says to 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 draw its uh, cross section okay i'm going to tick here and uh, it's draw directly its cross section for with the with the final with the final rod that we made okay we can check here okay it's the same information we got we have the the rod we have the layer and we have everything okay in the same line we 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 can get the volume report okay it's very useful to 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 give a result of of this uh, cubication of of this uh, volume of of the earthwork that we are going to make in the project okay station by station for this uh, entity for this classifier and the final number to the cut volume or the fill volume etc okay we can export to excel file or draw it uh, etc okay and finally i think it's very important to get to get for example how how get uh, how do we get uh, the the final ddm with our with our configuration no with our rod, rod final rods no in this case i'm going to click on modify it. and in this pe in this case uh, the software is going to to make a new surface a, a new ddm for example mod defeat i'm going to shape in this file modified okay okay in this step the software is going to re-triangulate all the option with the natural terrain to to get the final result in a, a new a new digital terrain okay i'm going to finish okay okay i'm going to show the final result okay we have here the final rod in the in this case if i change for example i'm going to click on sub yeah, i'm going to view in 3d for example or my, by orbital 3d okay we have here to analyze our digital terrain model okay i'm going to create a new contour line with a new surface okay it will have here and the did control vision uh -huh. I we can we can see better top okay here is here is our 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 rod in this in this case okay uh, after that in the same in the same in the same lane we can we can we have with MDD, we have many options to utils to or tools to to work. And one one thing very 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 singular is the Earthwork tools 
to get, for example, different terrace or different platform uh, and defined by height, by code of the the platform, or depending on the if we have the the bottom slope, we we can calculate the head slope uh, with one slope or something like that. Okay. In this case, I'm going to to show one example of, of the carrier, the carrier that I have here. Okay, this is one example, and the follow works in one in one carry where we find we we get the information from the drone the drone fly, we get the the ortho image and the and the by stereoscopy with the application TCP stereo we get the contour line for this work. Okay, so in this case we use MDT to to calculate the new the new tax or the front the front attack in the the, car, the carry front attack uh, to calculate a new exploitation of this carry okay so we can define different solution how how will how will be the the new slope and we can uh, and get the new slope in this carry okay in this case is the slope in this case there are one uh, explanation and here we get one one pool one water pool or maybe irrigation irrigation pond to to get the final result in this case i'm going to to show how make a a, a rendering of this carry is very is very nice to root by the rain and um, in this carry okay it prepared yet it were already prepared and i can show the carry the final result of this of the example okay we can show the final uh, irrigation pond or the final explanation or the different or the different uh, slope the front the front attack of this of this carry no it's very it's very it's very useful um and very and very and very useful to to show the final result in the in the in the in the project to show our client the final the final thing to to show one representation one modulation of this of this uh, element okay finally i think it's very important I think it's very important to to complete this demonstration with one novel uh, 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 tools uh, uh, reference to the to the networks. For example, in this case, there are uh, one urbanization that they are defined all the street in in this example. Okay, and we have a, a final final digital model. Uh, where we are going to to read the this digital model to calculate the different uh, the different pipe in, in one for example in this case rainwater network okay so for this we use the 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 tools from to the networks okay yeah I'm going to we have different options but now I'm going to use a great great pipes pipe pipes from the polyline okay I'm going to use the different line that we define or we design by set w cat uh, 21 um, and we can select this polyline to calculate uh, the 3d the 3d model for this pipe okay I'm, I'm drawing all the entity for this pipe in this case uh, we can use or, or read the information from the uh, digital model, current 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 digital model. Uh, it's possible to calculate the 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 height of this this pipe. I'm going to do to set, for example, the pipe uh, two meter and a half down. Okay, 78, for example. Yeah, I'm going to select the the slope, uh, three percent. Here I'm going to define the nodes for each wheel. In this case, I'm going to say rainwater wheel. 
for its uh, for its wheel. Okay, I'm going to select one block to drawing in each point. Uh, the the wheel the wheel width one meter. The fifth it's fifty meter one one knot new knot to create. Uh, the 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 pipe for this pipe I'm going to give a T1 or rain rainwater one sorry rainwater one rainwater one okay I'm going to select the material to do it reinforcement concrete and the diameter in this case the diameter is 500 500 millimeter. 500 millimeter. I'm going to reference. Uh, I'm going to reference the 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 height of the elevation of the pipe in the seat of the water, the clean of the of the of the pipe. Okay, y here is. He draw directly automatically. It's will with the with the coat with the height of the natural terrain and the design, the modified or the design uh, height. In the same in the same link line, I can draw the profile of this pipe. No? For example, uh, network. I'm going to use draw profile of pipes. I'm going to choose the pipe. Now we can configure it or we can setting up this uh, this uh, pipe or this uh, prof uh, profile. I'm going to this OK. I'm going to click to design the cross uh, the, the profile of this pipe. In this case, we can choose. We have the pipe, the natural terrain, each information for each wheel, and all the information from the terrain, the depth, uh, etc. Okay. It's it's work. We can we need to repeat or we can follow this this workflow. To, to final to final to final project like this no we have different pie or different uh, uh, part of the of the sewage or the rainwater storm water etc to to design all the project uh, to to the network in this case we can solo so if we use for example network draw 3d network we can draw the surface and our our network uh, sewage, for example, or rainwater in this case, to show this. For example, 3D Orbita, we have in 3D all the entity, all the entity, to show all the entity at the at the level. Okay, it's very it's very useful to do that. Okay. Okay, pues I hope uh, you enjoyed with our demonstration. Uh, I recommend our application uh, using set WCAT uh, 2021 to to work in our civil engineer project to follow different linear project or different uh, project uh, in our in our works. Thank you very much, Antonio. It was really nice, this uh, presentation. Uh, we have still five minutes, so if you have some questions, don't hesitate to, to, don't hesitate to, to make your question. We can try to, to reply to some of them. Uh, we highly recommend you to visit our web page where you can find a lot of information. So if you are interested by one of the solution, you go to uh, product, choose if it's standard version, professional version, and when you have select what you are uh, looking for, uh, you can go down, uh, see some uh, information about the software, but particularly you can download here a free trial version uh, for free, okay? Uh, uh, during 30 days. I highly also recommend you to follow up on LinkedIn and Facebook where you can find a lot of information about our webinar, about uh, a lot of uh, information of what we are doing uh, diary of our diary work and we are happy to reply to all your questions uh, if you have some.
Thank you to ZBSoft to be with us. Claire, I will switch on your microphone if you want to say some goodbye to the all the, to all the attendees. Yeah. Um, uh, do you guys have any questions towards ZBCAD ZBSoft? I believe there is no question. I uh -huh. highly appreciate uh, there is a lot of people saying that it was a really nice uh, introduction. So I believe we can close this webinar. And yeah. thank you very much to to everybody. Uh, we start your discussion for any anything. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good bye day. Bye bye.